Hi all, this is Preben again with another video and another shader. Well, this time it's a procedural generated terrain shader. I'm not sure if I'm able to say that word correctly, but uh, what it means is it's uh, able to generate the, the terrain texturing by its own. Uh, if you look at this video, you can see uh, I'm just creating a random, standard random Game Guru terrain. And now I'm running it. You can see it now has a variation map that makes some variation in the terrain textures. So here you can see it has the default terrain textures. It's just mixing some mud and some grass. So you get some variation in the terrain. It gives a lot more detail when you generate terrains. You can see there. Yeah, well, it, this is a little bit hard because I'm recording some of it on, uh, on my laptop and some on my Mac and now I have cut it all together and then makes the voiceover afterwards so it might it might be a little bit strange but uh, let's see yeah here I'm um, just trying different stuff yeah you can see the all the detail you get in the terrain there's nothing special, this is it's simply a random generated game crew terrain, the default one, so it just it just looks so much better. So now we have something new coming up. Yeah. Here you're able to see while you edit the terrain. It will draw you if you l try to watch the water. You get the sand down at the water, but at the water level. What's good about uh, this procedure is that uh, when you do it like this, you don't get all those blendings, blendings, strange blendings between the textures. They will always blend perfectly together, as you can see here, a little bit of grass, yeah that's the crater, you can download that for free at Dale3D if you want and try it out. This is just using uh, the new shader to put in some variation. You can see here in try the game at the level. Slow laptop cut. You can see you have the rock there. And it's fading in some grass textures and it's making fading in uh, some variations. So you get a really great mix of textures and they are combined perfectly so you can't see uh, any weird edges. Yeah. I've done nothing to this other than selecting some textures, that's it. And then the shader will do everything else. Yeah, and then you have the variation map. You have to make a variation map. I will provide one. The one I use here is just a default one that can be used for most stuff. So um, it will just make the mix like you see it here. Here you have. Oh, you have some mud, then you have some grass. And you have the rock textures, 
and the stone down by the water all mixed together perfectly. And sure, you can still uh, draw your paths if you like to make even more variety in the terrain. Oh, that's a uh, that's a nice scene. Yeah, there you can see where they all blend together. So now it's uh, another video about how it, well, how you c so you can see how uh, it changes the terrain textures while you are editing. see that in a moment when I'm done drawing this. Oh. Yeah. Let's see that. And again it mix in different textures there. It has the mud texture and the grass texture mixed in together. And there you have the path. It don't use Lee special pass drawing slot as this one is uh, just as good. Well, it's not just as good, but it has a hard edge, so it will fade out to nearly anything. You can see that in a moment. Yeah, it fades perfectly to the grass and. Oh yeah, hi. Oh here comes some mud. Then we can see how it fades. Perfect. And down into the rock is also fine. Yeah, I think you can better see it when we go come down to the sand. Then you can see the hard edge. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it there. But again, it's uh, blending okay into the different textures. So it can be used to make roads or or make path or and you can always save the one Lee made so you always have that for anything special that really need to fade perfectly into everything yeah now there's the random label from daily 3d uh, mainly I have this now because it's doing something special. This one has been uh, generated by GG Loader and uh, as GG Loader also paints this level completely you will have a, a grass layer everywhere and uh, that means if you now change to a snow texture in the grass it will still uh, have a little bit yeah, you can see that when you you shift to remove textures, the original textures come 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 uh, will be turned on. Uh, that's just the path. Yeah, 
and trying to run. So you can see it looks pretty real. The way you can have uh, it's a normal rock. It just have a mix of snow and rock. But that's uh, a little bit special because it's you need to have your terrain painted in GG Loader to make an effect like that. But uh, all the other stuff you can do without uh, GG Loader, it will just run directly from the shader. You just install the new shader and you are ready. Oh, that was it. So uh, until next time, have a nice day.